Welcome back, everyone. We've been talking with uh, Senior Advocate of Nigeria, Emeka Echaba, about the allegations of uh, bribery against the governor of Kano State. He was supposed to appear before the committee investigating that matter. He was represented by the Commissioner for Information, Mohamed Garba. Let's get uh, some other perspective now from Kano State, this time around from a member of the APC, uh, the Chief Whip of the House of Representatives, Honorable Ado Dogua, who joins us from Kano State. Thank you so much, Honorable Adogua, for your time on the program today. How do, uh, is it panning out in the APC? Uh, it's close to the election. These allegations are coming. The video, they say they have up to 10 versions of this video of different incidents. Is it a big dent for the APC and for the administration of uh, Governor Ganduji? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Akim Baloe, and good evening, uh, viewers. Uh, I think, in my opinion, uh, the whole issue under discussion, I think, is about uh, a design, a design, a kind of deliberate design to turn the good image of the governor of the state, uh, which, unfortunately, by the tradition of our own kind of politics in Kano, uh, Akim Baloe, this view, they cannot get at the governor through this kind of uh, strategy. I want to tell you uh, the population, the populace of the state are well enlightened people uh, politically. They are also enlightened socially. I don't think that we have the kind of population that can be susceptible to this kind of uh, 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 unfortunate uh, attempt to dent the, Im the image of the, of the governor. And our people in the state are generally insensitive to what is happening to in, in, in the course of this uh, uh, allegation. Uh, for instance, even today, this Friday, after the Friday prayers, I went around with the governor to so many nooks and crannies of the city, and it's like uh, nothing is even happening. You can now see to the extent to which our people are very insensitive and uh, cannot be susceptible to this kind of uh, 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 manipulations. So by and large, I want to tell you that as far as this state is concerned and the people of the APC in Kano State are concerned, this is a misnomer, it's a non-issue, and it's not capable of denting or tarnishing our electoral chances come 2019. If you look at the videos, uh, there is a first, second, and there's a third version. And uh, the publisher is uh, saying that, in fact, there are about several others which are going to be released. Uh, are you saying that the governor is not the one in the video? Or are you saying that the people know that he may be the one, but they are not concerned about it in any case? Uh, I want to say by my own opinion, that as far as I'm concerned in this world of technology, uh, every uh, unimaginable thing can be displayed in a video of such, of such nature. I want to tell you that as far as I'm concerned, I don't believe in this video. Our people do not believe in this video. And I also want to go further to tell you that when we elected Governor Ganduje in the year 2015, we did not elect him on the basis of this kind of presentation or on the basis of a video uh, intervention. And I don't think anybody can now use uh, what you can call a, a, a false video claim to now uh, make Governor, Governor Ganduje uh, 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 discredited. Or that will not have any effect whatsoever to his electability. I'm telling you, the people of Kano State still believe in the governor, and he's still fresh and electable. And by 2015, I assure you, Kano State Gulf people will return Ganduje re-elected for his second term. Uh, Anabu Dogua, is it that you don't believe in the video or you do not agree? It is, it is, it is, it is it, not my the self. video is right there on your screen. Are you saying that person looks like him? It may not be the person because the, what is happening, the scenario playing out, it's like you're watching a movie. It is, what is, uh, allow Nigerians to understand your perspective on this matter. What I'm now telling you is the disposition of the generality of the people in Kano State. And I want to assure you that what is being displayed on the video for us is not only a drama, it's an unbelievable video presentation that no kind of person can stand by that. And that cannot provide any basis for any electoral judgment. No, Honorable Dog, it seems you don't understand what I'm saying. What I'm, what, what the clarity I, I want what from you, you. What you are asking me is about the credibility, credibility of the video. And I'm telling you that it's not, it's not a credible bit, it's not a credible document, and it's also not believed by the generality of the people of the APC in Kano State. And we will not even use it as a basis for our re-electing Dr. Abdullah Ganduje 
uh, come 2019. It's not like I'm speaking for myself alone. I'm speaking from the disposition of the APC in Kano State, who generally do not. We seem to be having uh, some problems with uh, the connection there. Um, Honorable Adodo Gua is uh, Chief Whip of uh, the House of Representatives, a member of uh, the APC from Kano State. Honorable Dogua, if you still can hear me, let me ask you this. The big question will be, after this investigative session, what if the governor is found wanting in all of this? You see, Sharon, in my own opinion, and by the kind of experience I've gathered in the parliamentary business of over 28 years, I want to tell you that up initial this investigative process is faulty by way of procedure because a committee investigative committee does not have such power to invite the chief executive of the state. Just like in the case of the House of Representatives or the National Assembly, if the National Assembly would like to invite or summon the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, you can only do that by way of institutional resolutions, and you now invite him to appear before the whole House, not by a committee of the House. This committee is also by nature an investigative committee, and an investigative committee, by my understanding, is like a quasi-court. And as long as the governor enjoys his immunity right as enshrined in the Constitution of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, the committee does not have such power to even invite the governor. And I think if the governor subscribes that invitation, it is amounting to the case of like he is even abusing or compromising his constitutional right, not even a privilege. Okay, then. Thank you so much, uh, Honorable Ado Doguwa. Because earlier, we told you that um, uh, the president received uh, the certificate at the station today. But before the 2015 election, the issue about President Buhari's certificate and qualification came. Well, it was a very major issue. And at, after that time, a major, it, it became a major talking point. Some of the reactions at the time was that the document was with the military. There were some other documents which surfaced online, and now the certificate matter has returned. But today, it has taken a new perspective as uh, President received attestation certificate and confirmation of school certificate from the West African Examination Council, WAEC. The register of uh, the council, Mr. E. Uwadae, presented the document to President Buhari at the presidential villa in Abuja. But that's how far we can go on the program tonight. Thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I'm Shimon Kimale. Bye-bye.